20 years ago, the car hobby started to really lose its sense of fun and its sense of humor. So it seemed to me if you could take the checkbook out of the equation, you could just have a whole lot more fun. Did I ever think I'd be standing out in a field in Colorado as a 51-year-old doing this for a living? Absolutely not. Lemons is satire. The 24 Hours of Le Mans is the pinnacle of professional endurance racing. We are the direct opposite. 24 Hours of Lemons is a totally amateur road race where you cannot spend more than $500 on your car. Should I add, exclusive of all the safety equipment that keeps you from dying. This weekend will be my 67th Lemons event, and I figure over almost 10 years I'm probably in it. Like under $100,000, but not a lot less than that at this point. This is cheap therapy. I was in the car magazine business. All of my buddies were in the car magazine business. So we did this thing. They went away and wrote about it. And all of a sudden, I was getting emails and phone calls. I missed that race. You must do another race. And as it grew, the car magazine business got worse and worse. And it just seemed to me like only an idiot would stay in the car magazine business when all of a sudden this was happening. Why is Sophie suddenly spinning? I just was a spectator running around taking pictures and then it took me a while until I was actually at this racetrack. I just jumped into a car and drove. It's great that there is professional racing in the world and for the 50 people who have the money and the connections and the talent to do that, more power to them. That's fantastic. But for everybody else, there needs to be an alternative. We have this huge diversity What's amazing to me is that you throw them all together into this mix and they all get along. 20% of the people are all super, take the themes really seriously and have fun with that part of it and really dress up and play up that aspect of it. And then, yeah, there's probably 20% who are all squinty-eyed racer guys who want to win and that's a thing too. But Lemons is really, the, the, the majority are people who have never done it before or you know, always wanted to be a race car driver. Lemons has turned into a culture. And my relationship to these, all of these people is really strange. I've known Anton for, I don't know, 10 years now that we've been doing this. And when they asked me last year if I would officiate at their wedding, I just thought that was incredibly sweet. When they said they wanted to do it at a Lemons race, I tried to talk them out of that. I am incredibly happy to pronounce you married. We all think you should kiss. <laughs> I've started a lot of things in my life. This is the one thing that I had no plan for. I didn't set out to do it. And if you had come to me 10 years ago and said, I have a great idea for a business, $500 cars that anybody can get in and drive on a racetrack, I would have said, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Get out of here. But it just goes to show it's better to be lucky than smart. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.